17 years after the tragic loss of the Derbyshire and her 44 passengers and crew, the answers may finally be within reach. Investigators guide a remote camera vehicle two and a half miles below the surface of the Pacific Ocean. They need to know why the largest British ship ever lost at sea went down. Barely torn apart. Look at that. The giant ship has been shattered into over 2,000 pieces of twisted metal and debris. Andy Bowen has examined many shipwrecks, but he's never seen anything like this before. I think everyone was staggered by the fact that it covered such a large area. The bow and the stern of the ship were in two separate places, separated by a significant distance. And everything else in between, all of the ship's structure, was for the most part turned into what I, I, I would almost call confetti. The twisted metal fragments are a telltale sign of a violent phenomenon that can tear a ship apart. When the Derbyshire sank, because of its unique construction of a double hull, uh, it actually did something which is to implode and then explode. As the Derbyshire sank below the waves, increased water pressure drove her watertight double hulls inward. At that point, the trapped air became so highly compressed, it exploded. It, it explodes back out in a shock wave. And that energy release was probably equivalent to many tons of TNT. And so the wreckage on the seafloor was uh, just huge pieces of ship twisted by uh, energy that just is almost impossible to imagine. In other words, the explosions were the result of the catastrophe, not the cause. Investigators still have no idea what set off the disaster.